all right hello fun and welcome back to starfield where today we are back down here in the abandoned mines though i guess not abandoned for much longer now that we have sold that pharmaceutical info to the trade authority it'll hopefully be opened up at some point i actually do wonder will it or will it always and forever while we're playing be abandoned i don't know we'll come back one day and see if i remember <laughs> that means we'll never see this place again. But yes, we're here to continue on with the Delivering Devils mission, which hopefully we'll actually finish up today. There's been a lot in this quest, and uh, yeah, we are at the point now where we can finally meet with Percival, hopefully give him the sample, and hopefully get him to uh, Hadrian, and then we'll roll from there. Yay. Now, before we do get into that, though, a couple of things from off cam. First and foremost, I have a status effect that I apparently can't get rid of. I took a little bit of time to wander around on the surface of Mars and actually did 100% survey it. It um, didn't take much, literally just a little ways away, like less than a kilometer from the exit to the, uh, the mines. There was both of the traits like right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and there are only resources, no flora or fauna, so it uh, was pretty quick. And while wandering around on the surface, I got irradiated and I have no medication for that. I've looked through all my eight items and none of them have that little icon there. So, um, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I'm hoping it goes away at some point. Oh, I guess we could also visit a doctor perhaps and either buy what we need or maybe get them to help us. I know where some are back in New Atlantis. I don't know about Sidonia. I would assume there's someone in Sidonia, but I have no idea. Huh. I also have no idea what this effect is doing to me. <laughs> it's not really telling me anything. It's just saying, oh, hey, extreme solar radiation. I haven't noticed my health going down besides what was already damaged, but, um... We'll see. We'll see. Now, besides that, I, of course, did go through the mines and loot a lot of things. Interestingly, there was some uh, contraband Varun heretical text, which I already did go back to uh, Sidonia to sell to the trade authority. But there was also a non-heretical Varun magazine, which I found, which gave me, I think it was more sneaking... Oh, where did that thing go? Oh, there it is. Va Varun Scripture 10. So, yeah, apparently this, this is not heretical, but the contraband things were. And the weird part about the contraband ones, there were three of them. <laughs> there was two sitting next to a dead man and one just uh, in one of the habitats that we encountered early on. So, yeah, there's a... There's a lot of Varun Scriptures down here, both heretical and not quite so heretical. Interesting. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if I missed some other ones, but oh well, for now, we at least got these. And yay for some more sneak meh for melee that I'll never use. I've never liked melee in Bethesda games, and I don't plan on doing it here either. But yeah, besides that, a lot of other good uh, things scattered around the place. I'm starting to get way too much aid items in my inventory. I have so much wine and beer, I really need to just go and sell a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what most of my mass on my character currently is. But, uh, oh well, we'll roll with it. But for now, let's actually continue on with our quest and go over there. I'm assuming we're... Hmm. It's not showing me arrows. I'm assuming we go this direction, considering it's up that way-ish. But, let's roll and see. I haven't actually gone past where we left off in the episode, so all these uh, catwalks up here are new to me. Oh man, there's two paths on the catwalks. I went on the upper level. Hopefully there was nothing fun on the lower level. With my luck, there is. Oh well, I'll come back and check that off cam again. Uh, okay, they gave me that key. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Now those are just wire spools, nothing of value. Oh, I saw the arrow. Oh, there's the arrows, yay. All right, so we do have them now. I am going the correct direction. I mean, of course I am. We had to unlock that door with the key we were given. But... Huh. Not seeing any fun loot, so let us continue onward. And... You know, how about a gun just in case? I doubt there's going to be any spacers or anything in here, but maybe some more of them heat leeches? I don't like when those things pop out and scuttle around. 
I guess they don't really scuttle, do they? They more slither. But, oh, hello. Oh. Can I, can I make that with my pack? Oh, there's another way. <laughs> with my pack, I don't think we could have. Had I kept on that other pack that we were testing a few episodes, you know what? We probably could have jumped. I forgot about gravity. <laughs> But I was thinking that other pack that's a hold and boost rather than tap and boost. Oh, look at this cool little thing. Oh, I want it. <laughs> uh, we probably could have made it with one of those. Granted, with the gravity, we probably could have as well. I keep forgetting about the gravity. <laughs> We're on Mars. We have less. Uh, all right. Well, oh, God, I got stuck on a rock there. What do we got up here? Hello. Multiple chests. A non and uh, orange. Ooh, furious calibrated Eon. Lower magazine and accuracy than mine, but greater range. I mean, I'll take it to sell. Eh, yeah. <laughs> all right, out we go. And, all right, it's an expert lock, but still, let's handle it. Let's see if there's any that can only be used on one. That is none. God, those are always even worse. Uh, all right, so we got you. We could put you that way. Yeah, it looks like that's the only place you could go is right there. Hmm. Oh, and then maybe a you and a you? Yes, that might be good for that one. But, no, we can't do that. <laughs> because then the middle ring only has two notches. So we would have to use you and you because there are no ones that would fit just between those two. Hmm. <laughs> All right, you're probably gonna be you and you. No, other way, other way. Yeah, that would make sense for these, but then how do we work with the bottom layer? You know, I'm just gonna roll with this, and this, and this, and this, and... Oh, yeah, we got these, don't we? <laughs> Hello, never mind, we're good. Sweet. All right. Let's see, we got some credits, a regulator, and a space trucker balance pack. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care about either of these. All right, I'll leave them. I already got you and already got, well, your hallucinogen. Eh. All right, roll forward. Anything else? We got some more aqueous hematite sitting around. I'm still disappointed in the last episode that they never actually explained how that... <laughs> How that drug was being made. It really makes no sense to me, though. Aquabus hematite plus human water runoff plus Martian soil could have made anything interesting. Also, the swelling music for the cool view over here as I was looking at that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a pretty neat looking place. Nice. I like you, though. I still want one of you. I love the little robots. <laughs> I mean, we could have just straight jumped down there, but I want to see what's around the corner here. Whoop, we go. And... Alright. Well, nothing of value. Like all the guardrails around. <laughs> Some major holes in the guardrails, though. Not really doing their job that great. Oh, what do we got here? We encounter maybe some security robots? Microbiological laboratory. Oh, yeah, of course, that's where they would be, because that is what they did. All the Xeno bioweapon stuff. Hmm. You know, nothing fun there. All right, continue this way. And... All right, so we got... By orders of the armistice, no trespassing beyond this point. Photography is prohibited. Well, lucky for you, I don't got a camera. <laughs> uh, I guess technically we actually... Oh, hello. That's heat leech things, isn't it? 
let's just destroy those. Technically, I guess I do have a camera because there's the photo mode in this game that I've never used. Oh boy, I don't like that there's heat leeches down here. Oh, hi! You're just chilling. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Oh, this must be the one who caught me out of the red. Yup, I am. I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Uh huh. So, so hi, hi, Percival. I like your suit. Holy crap, that's an awesome suit. Oh, I want it, Percival. I'm sorry, but I may have to kill you to take it. Granted, I might not actually get it, but oh, that's a. I haven't seen this suit before. I mean, the pack is a bit bulky, but I still kind of like it. I still kind of like it. Helmet and the suit, though, are awesome. Okay, hi, Percival. Let's actually get to talking. Now How's it going? To explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts. <laughs> I think me and you are going to get along, Dr. Walker. Uh, let's see, I've got a tissue sample I need analyzed. Full of workup. I'm here to make a delivery for an old colleague of yours, Hadrian Sanin. You know how long it took me to find you. Take this damn sample. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry my forced into exile lifestyle inconvenienced you. But if you came all this way just to deliver a sample, what exactly is it you brought me? Well, let's see. Terramorph sells from a world too young to have one. Tal Gourmet's own free-range 100% human-fed Terramorph cells. <laughs> Go with that one. <laughs> Terramorph attack, huh? Uh-huh. Not exactly sure why you'd be bringing that... Wait, Tal Gourmet? Uh-huh. Tal Seti Tal Gourmet? Yes! That's a joke, right? No. There's no settlement old enough on Tal Seti to have a Terramore. I know, that's the Either problem. Someone's setting up the worst petting zoo in the universe, or <laughs> who exactly told you to bring this to me? Oh, that'd be your old friend Hadrian. Yeah, it's, it's that. Hadrian? She's... She gave you this? She did. If she made you come all the way for this. Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. I really want your suit, though. Oh, I need to know what that suit is. All right, well, following him. Is this a loading? Yeah, it's a loading thing. In I go! To Red Devil's HQ. Oh, it didn't let me. Because he went in first. Dang it. He's got to move away from the door before I can go in. There we go. <laughs> oh, I really want a suit, though. That's an awesome-looking suit. I may like that more than the Tracker's Alliance one. Nifty. I wonder if there might be one here. Oh, so the hell's a hustler suit. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I should probably be... Oh, the comet. Hello. I don't know if I have you or not. Well, now I do. Oh, he took off his suit. Can I have it? Did you put it down somewhere? <laughs> gonna ask you to not touch anything. Uh -huh. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, you've been doing your own research outside oh, of UC? Oh, you mention how you took care of the dead. Uh huh? Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research. Uh -huh. But I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. Very true. Very true. Alright, so what you gonna look for, buddy? And I'm not gonna listen to you saying don't touch anything. I am gonna touch everything. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? Uh-huh. You gaze into this abyss. Right. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Mm-hmm. Wait. Where are the markers? Oh? This... this can't be right. What? This sample... it's... Londinian. <gasps> Londinian? I'll, I'll need to get this all in a slate. Okay, okay, okay. Adrian really gave you this sample. Uh-huh. You're not lying to me? Well, I'm actually the because one who took the told sample. if you this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like your eye color, too. I want that eye color. <laughs> I want your suit more, though. Hand it over. So, that sample's not fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. It's something... If something's wrong with it, talk to Hadrian. I'm just the messenger. So Hadrian wasn't mistaken. That sample's a concern. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. It's a concern, huh? She was disconcertingly correct. Trying a little habit of Hadrian's. Ah. Which is why, if you wanted to have your film crew jump out and yell surprise... I wouldn't be saddened in the least. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll go with that one since I did collect it myself. The sample's not a fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. 
Can't just humor an old man, huh? Nope. This sample. It's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. Uh -huh. I presume you've heard of Londinian. I have. I went to the museum. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, I'm going to go with this one because we have. So Hadrian mentioned it. Sounds like quite the tragedy. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. <laughs> the swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Nifty. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did... Well, they look just like this one. Interesting. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. That's not good. Faster than any terramorph should. That's not good at all. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian... That's not going to end well for humanity. No, no, it will not. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Ah, uh, let's see. Orders are to take you and that analysis to Hadrian. She should be waiting at the Sixth Circle. Get your boots on. We're going to stop any more attacks before they start. I like that one. We're leaving. Try not to slow me down. But you said the Lindenium attack was massive, right? Why is one odd terramorph so scary? Well, this doesn't seem to end this conversation, so let's ask this... Uh, this? <laughs> let's ask this question. There's where my mind was going. And, yeah, why is this one so scary? Because until now, the terramorphs that wiped out Lundinian had the good sense to stay put. Mm -hmm. What happened there? It was a tragedy. But at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world... Well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means. But I doubt it's good. Got it. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. Well, yep. Six circle. We're on our way. Except I like this one better. Get your boots on. We're going to stop any more attacks before they start. Music to my ears. I mean, Keep first, though, I need to look around. The lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Wait, why aren't you... Why, why can't you use this? Why can't you use it? I need to look around, though, first, Hadrian. Or not Hadrian. <laughs> Walker, we're going to Hadrian. We're going to Hadrian. I want to just give a quick look around. I'm not going to spend too much time looting, because mainly, I just want to take a quick look around the place, see what it's what, and also see if there's one of those fancy suits he has here. I want it. I haven't seen a suit like that yet, and it intrigues me. I think it might be the best-looking suit I've seen thus far. No, I can't get through you, unless there's a switch new... That's disconcerting. <laughs> All right, there's another secure access thing here. All right, what do we got around the corner? Oh, that's a pen. Oh, oh, no wonder it's secure access. Let's let's not open those up. I mean, there's nothing in them, but still, but still. All right, where do you go? What do we got in this place? Any fun books that may unlock things on Earth? I don't know. We got what I thought was a soccer ball at first. What the hell is that meant to be? <laughs> All the drives taken out of the server. Nifty. Uh, hello, loot. I mean, I know I said I really wasn't going to loot, but if there's a chest, I'm still going to open it. <laughs> uh, well, spacesuit workbench. I don't see one of them suits. Walker, I want your suit. Oh, hey! Ship missiles permanently deal 5% more damage. Nice! You know, I keep forgetting about those magazines, and whenever we've gone into facilities and such, I forget to look around for them. Because normally when you see something on a table like that, it's just a random, you know, notepad or something of that variety. And so I never think to look. And that is a bad thing. I've probably missed a number of magazines at this point. Okay, okay, even though I want to loot everything, I'm hoping I'll be able to come back here later. If we get a, uh... If we're getting a key to go to the surface... Wait, hold on, what's this say? Day since last accident. Okay, fair. If we're getting a key that goes to an elevator to the surface, we're hopefully... Gonna be able to come back here so I can properly loot it later, because Lord knows I'll wanna... I must loot everything. Well, more cages on this side, too. Horrifying. 
Alright, elevator's over there. Nothing of value here. The hell's that meant to be? I don't know. Boy, a bigger cage. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, this was where they did all their Xeno weapon research, so it makes sense they got all these things. Alright, alright. I'm not seeing anything else of uh, value here, but let's check the upstairs real quick before we leave. Mainly looking for that suit. Walker, give me your suit. <laughs> Seriously, I don't think we've seen one that looks like that before. And it intrigues me. Okay, so I guess this is where he's been living all this time. <laughs> is, this, is this his little living area? You couldn't have found a nicer little room or something? It's a pretty large facility. Surely there would have been another room somewhere, buddy. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna take you. Nifty. <laughs> I like it. Oh, that's where he came in from. Okay, so just this area back here to check, and then we're out. No, no. Oh, man, I was really hoping I might find one of those spacesuits here. Is that, like, something unique to these red devils or whatever the hell they're supposed to be called? I, I've forgotten already what they're called. All right, yeah, now that's back over here, and I haven't seen one. Dang, a lot of Terra Brew Cups, though. Damn. <laughs> All right, to the elevator. I'm not seeing one. I'll come back, hopefully, later, so I can loot the hell out of the place properly. But let's head to Hadrian. And hopefully we get a waypoint for this, because that'd be lovely. So that I can more easily come back there. <laughs> that'd be great. Oh, instead of having to go to the abandoned mine and make my way all the way through, it'd be so much nicer if I could just, you know, come to wherever this, uh, this elevator is heading to. I actually wonder where it's going to come out at. Ooh. Yeah, extreme solar radiation again. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be problematic for me. Okay, well, map, let's take a look. And the hell? Okay, so we're over here. So we're over by, yeah, that exit. Nifty. Okay. Oh, but yeah, when I was on the surface before, like I said, it didn't take long for me to get surveyed at the beginning of the episode. I literally hit that cave first, and then these were the two traits. <laughs> A meteor shower impact site and a storm crater, which also just looked like the meteor shower impact site, but bigger. <laughs> and that was it. That's all I had to explore to 100% Mars. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I meant to hold because I wanted to see if there was anything immediately out here before we head back to Sidonia. All right, well, we got a launch pad. Got it. Mars Research Facility... XW. Got it. Alright, well, nothing really of value here. Not seeing any uh, any crates. Alright, well, Walker, let's roll. Let us head back to Sidonia proper. Uh, still wish it actually would pop us into Sidonia. What the hell's the point of this location being outside Sidonia when there's literally the launch pad, like, right next to it? Put me in Sidonia. Don't make me have to walk over there to then enter Sidonia. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Let's get rolling. There we go. I want your suit! Oh, it's so cool looking. Oh, man. Yeah, I think that might be my favorite looking suit now, and I have no idea what it is. You know, I could probably look that up on the wiki. I'm sure it might say... Just look up his character. It'll probably have a... Uh, Actually, will it? I've never looked up any of the characters on the any of the Starfield wikis so far. I assume maybe they'll have what kind of suit they're wearing. I'll have to look for that info. See what's what. I do not recognize it, and I love it. Alright, let's roll. Oh, here we go. And at some point soon, we still need to actually explore around this place. Oh, also, I didn't notice before, my radiation thing did disappear, so it has just disappeared over time. Alright, down to P2. Beautiful. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Oh, he's no longer following us. He's on his own. Really hurt? Adrian. Hi. Percival. My god, look at you. Mm hmm You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Huh? <laughs> 
Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Huh? Let's talk somewhere more private. Got it. Lou said we could use the back. Ooh, Lou's got a back room? Oh, sweet. Does he just mean the storeroom back there? Hi, right, Cooper. How's it going, man? And... Oh, some people are saying, go get him, man. It's like, yes, I am dressed as the Manus right now. Okay, yeah, just we're in the storeroom. Got it. All right, yo. What are we talking about? abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. No problem. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. I mean, it was entertaining, so I'm good. And plus, I made good money. So, a little more gunfire than I uh, usually like on my delivery jobs, but nothing I couldn't manage. You know, I'm okay with gunfire on my delivery jobs. I walk in the park. Too much trouble is exactly how I describe the experience I just had. Now, nah, I'll go with the first one. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, I just agree, but... Yeah, nothing I couldn't manage. That's... Well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. <laughs> so, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. It's bad that news. That sample is an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian. That's, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. Uh, so yeah. tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Oh, that place! Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? Oh. And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Yeah, how does that Guess work with House Varun being gone? Goodbye. I didn't think the cabinet would be willing to hear us out either, but I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. And those are? One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. Got it. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. I mean, that seems fair. With both of us. That seems fair. Uh, well, you need someone to charm some higher ups. I'm your guy. Darn right. Uh, it doesn't sound like any run-of-the-mill data you're after. Think you owe me an explanation. I mean, yes. The cabinet, what's that? <laughs> it's the Armist Archives, and what does it have to do with the Freestar Collective and House of Varun? I mean, I'm going to click this, even though we learned what it is at the museum. But yeah, how does... How would we deal with House of Varun without... Since it's supposed to be all three factions to get anything out. But click. Well, when the colony war came to a close 19 years ago with the signing of the armistice. Three factions were involved in the negotiations. Uh -huh. The UC, Freestar, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. Got it. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. Okay. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. So were you guys trying to turn Terramorphs into Xeno bioweapons? I mean, that would make sense. I mean, I'm going to click it even though we know what the cabinet is, but still, I want to hear what she says. The cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The president, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. <laughs> Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. Got it. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't sound like any run-of-the-mill data you're after. I'll take that explanation now. Of course. You deserve the full story. I do. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. Uh -huh, yeah. We were military scientists. Yeah, I know. Ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield. Yeah, I already knew that. As weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. Again, already knew that. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, oh my God. 
I actually know who you are and your past. Well, that's none of my concern. Still doesn't explain what this Terramorph data is doing in the archives. I mean, it does. They were clearly doing the thing, but we're going to click that in a moment. So wondering if you were ever going to share that nugget with me. Again, we knew all of that already from what we heard from other people. Uh, then what does that make you two now? Is the UC going to throw me in prison for helping you? Well, considering Vanguard told me that I could help with them, well, I think we're good. But click. No. We were both dismissed after the war for what we did. These days, we're just concerned citizens with a very particular area of expertise. Got it. Our damage has been done for a long time. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I was wondering if you were ever going to share that nugget with me. Oh, you already knew. I did. I, I'm i sorry about that. It didn't seem relevant in the moment, and well, it's... It's not something I'm exactly proud of. Okay. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. Yep, figured. The project never got off the ground. But the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the colony war. Got it. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. Okay. And hopefully how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Okay, okay. Eh, I don't mind. <laughs> it's uh, time to think about this. Why wouldn't the cabinet agree to help us? Yeah, why wouldn't the cabinet agree to help us? I mean, I hope they will, given the evidence we've acquired. But getting the Freestar Collective and House Varun on our side, that won't be easy. Mm -hmm. Since neither group is exactly on great terms with the UC at the moment, for various reasons. Exactly. It's going to mean negotiations and deals and plenty of diplomatic legwork to see this through. Oh boy. But I don't see a better option to solving what's going on here. So it's going to be up to us to get them on board. All right. Okay. Well, let's go talk to this cabinet, though. Uh, yeah. Eh. Nah, I'm good. Let's go talk to this cabinet. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Got it. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Hey, you're not coming? You're not coming? Give me your suit. <laughs> hey, we did actually, I was about to say, is this still gonna be continuing delivering devils? All right, so now we have Eyewitness meet Hadrian in New Atlantis's Mast District. And Walker, can I have your suit, please? Oh God, what the hell, Vasco? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yes, we now have our eyewitness mission to meet them there. All right, so we will do that next time. I will get us back to New Atlantis. Off camera, I will head back into that uh, HQ and loot the hell out of that place and also try and lighten up my inventory by selling some of my aid items. My God, I have just so many things, so many things. <laughs> Ah, uh, the trials and tribulations of a loot whore. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully you all have enjoyed uh, this one today, and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, well, have a good one.